Good morning and welcome to my Lampwork Cave. Um, I've had a lot of people ask me about this, which I've been showing on Instagram. Um, it's my own um, open build uh, glass lathe. Um, so I thought I'd do a quick short video um, to explain it, um, as I'm getting a lot of people messaging me with questions about how do I buy one, where do I get one from, or well, you don't, you've got to build your own basically. Um, and this is my own design, so um, it's quite basic. It's up to you if you want to build it. I mean, that's totally your own risk. If you have a choice, though, I'd say if you can buy a lathe, a proper glass lathe, buy one. Um, it's going to be set up properly. It's going to do all the things you want it to do. There are limitations with something like this, obviously. Um, I did this because um, I'm in the UK and trying to even find a glass lathe second hand or sixth hand is really almost impossible and the last time that I've had um, a couple come up one was so small it was just pointless it was like um, just like my little watchmaker's lathe um, and uh, another one which I nearly got um, was incredibly expensive but my issue was getting it physically in here because they are really large pieces of kit they're incredibly heavy you need hoists and lifts and so forth to actually move them or a couple of guys who don't mind getting hernias um, and I physically couldn't get it into this little tiny little space that I work in so um, for me being able to actually build something that's lightweight and small and fits my sort of area is, is perfect um, this is about a metre long I could make this any length I wanted to I can make this any height I wanted to um, but I've gone for this size because it just fits my bench. Um, it's quite simple as that. It's very light. Um, this is all aluminium construction, um, but surprisingly tough. Um, I can actually physically pick this up myself um, in one go. Um, obviously easy with two, but, um, and it breaks down quite easily as well. But uh, let me show you some more of the details. You're probably asking yourself, why can't I just use a normal metalwork or woodwork lathe? Um, the reason for that is on a normal metalwork or woodwork lathe you've got the power being sent from just one unit all the way uh, along and the, um, the the work then just just will stay solid but of course with glass as soon as I start melting that that's going to move so a quick demonstration for you so if I start heating the glass um, I actually heat it there in a thin spot because there's nothing supporting it on the other side oh, it's great. as you can see that's really suitable The main bed and construction, because I don't need any uh, complicated um, live axles or, and um, linkages, is um, stuff that's normally used to make uh, 3D printers. Um, this is what's known as, as V-rail or C-section V-rail because it's got this C-section in it. And it has these little Vs so that you can um, pop in um, things like this, um, sort of little gantry plate. Um, that uh, has some runners on it um, to actually run that along there. Um, this I've just uh, three print three D printed off a little um, little track and, and pulley system. I was going to uh, replace this with a metal one, but it's working, so I'm not going to bother. Um, and even the pillars are made out of uh, this um, um, V plating. Again, I could have had these any height. These are about two hundred mil. Um, 
I got this from a company called Ooz Nest, uh, who do um, 3D parts. Um, and they will actually cut it for whatever length you want. So there wasn't even no hacksawing or anything. I could um, just say I want a meter length. I want these two hundred meter lengths, um, and turn up next day. Um, all cut by their CNC machines, so um, incredibly accurate. Um, and then it's just literally a Meccano job of just bolting them together. Um, the only tricky bit is um, on top. This section here, this is um, I've 3D printed um, these little uh, plinths for the um, axle, uh, three, four, fourth axle um, CNCs to clip into or to bolt down onto. That's taken obviously some aggravation of aligning the lathe, which anyone who's run a glass lathe knows that's always a nightmare. Um, so just putting shims and washers in to try and get that to be more or less level. Right, the heart of the machine is one of these, um, what's known as a fourth axis um, a chuck. Um, these are actually made not for this purpose, but for um, 3D um, engraving um, and routering, um, where normally you would have, um, you'd put something like um, a, a cut a wooden beaker or a pen or something in the in the normal engineering lathe, um, and then um, it would very precisely control it to allow you to um, have a, a moving head which would engrave on your pen or on so forth. Um, quite easy to get hold of from um, usual places like um, AliExpress, um, eBay. Um, I actually got this one from Amazon because the returns was much easier if there was any problems with it. If you do go down this route and you do decide you want to have a go at one of these, um, you must, must, must get one with a hollow shaft. There are lots of these out there that have solid shaft. In fact, most of them are solid shaft because most people don't need to put anything further down inside this. Um, but for here, you'll want to put things like blow tubes and so forth through it um, to um, be able to put pressure into your work. Um, it has a, got a very narrow uh, bore. This is only about 20 mil bore, and to be honest, I would probably wouldn't put more than 18 uh, mil tube through there. But it's fine for just blow tubes and um, solid rod punties. That's been working fine for me. The thing that makes this really work are these two stepper motors and they've got very powerful torque. Um, these are usually used on 3D printers and so forth um, because they give you a very precise 1.8 degree turn and then they stop. And I've slowed this right down so you can see that it's just literally just moving 1.8 degrees then stopping. Um, this is what makes this whole thing work so well. Um, that because it's a digital setup each of these will actually uh, run completely um, together in, in sync so uh, there's no expensive drive chains there's no live um, uh, spindle um, this is all just through uh, a digital sort of signal to, sent to both of them to turn at 1.8 degrees um, so once I when I speed it up they stay totally in sync to give you that nice smooth movement. Having this stepper motor system means there's no drive chains, there's no spindles, no live axis. It's incredibly simple. There, there is a little bit of electronics involved though, and that's not actually that complicated. Inside this simple box is just like a power supply, a few switches, um, a pulse generator, which, um, I, which is where I can vary it on here and two of these. Um, these are the microscope drivers. This is what actually controls the stepper motors. Um, and it looks horrendously complicated, but it's not. You've just got um, four connectors there, which go to your stepper motors, some power, some uh, five volt power as well. There's a, another five volt supply in there. And um, that's actually about it. And as I say, a digital, um, pulse generator which again you can buy about a fiver I think uh, I made my own um, and this big chart on there is just about these switches on the end 
which you just adjust with a, a pencil and so forth um, and that you just set it to how many steps it goes and what power your motor is um, and so it's fairly logical you just look down I've got a three um, three amp motor um, and so I need to set it these switches at that setting. I've not really made anything proper with it. I'm still getting used to it. Um, still experimenting and playing around. Um, just using some old scrap tubing which had some uh, bubbles running through it. But as you can see, you can get some quite complicated um, uh, designs um, just by sort of blowing, pressing and moving the glass around. Um, I even sort of just quickly managed to knock that up last night. Um, so hopefully in the next um, few uh, weeks and months there will be more stuff coming out um, using this.